Honestly, I never imagined developing Shopify apps could be this easy. Hi, and welcome back to Weekly How. My name is Bernard, and welcome back to... Today, I'm going to introduce to you another way of developing Shopify apps. Because in a previous video, I showed you how to create a Shopify app using Shopify CLI and Remix. But today, we're not going to use these two. I'm going to introduce to you a new way of developing Shopify apps, and that is by using, drum roll please, Gadget. So what is Gadget? Gadget is a framework that offers a serverless Node.js environment for running your JavaScript applications, which is accompanied by routes and actions. We're going to cover more of that later on. Now, another question that you may have is, why even use Gadget when you have Shopify CLI? Now, the difference between Gadget and Shopify CLI is pretty obvious. Like I said, Gadget is a framework. And Shopify CLI is CLI. It's a command line interface that allows you to create Shopify apps and Shopify themes locally, meaning you still have to deploy these projects to your server. Okay, that is awesome, but what about the cost? Well, Gadget is actually- Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy Bernard. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much, boss, Marco, and Chris. Why are you here? Oh, I thought I was invited. We are very sorry for interrupting your work. I know you're not a big fan of big celebrations such as this, but we really wanted to take this opportunity and greet you a happy, happy birthday. On a serious note though, guys, thank you, Marco, Boss, and Chris for doing this. I mean, you could have bought a cake instead, but this one's fine too. Actually, we did. We bought a cake, but I think we used it in the music video. Link is in the description below. Well, let's do this. Well, where was I? Oh yeah, the cost of Gadget. Well, I was saying, Gadget is actually free. So you don't have to worry about hosting your Shopify apps or paying a subscription on signups. You don't have to worry about that. However, do keep in mind that with Gadget, you have limitations. Like if your Shopify app starts getting good traffic or huge amount of traffic, that is the time that you'll have to pay. So it's best to develop Shopify apps that you can actually monitor. So just in case you get a huge amount of traffic, it's guaranteed that you'll be making money. Anyway, speaking of developing Shopify apps, let's start developing. <laughs> let's go back to our computer. So we're back here in the browser. The first thing that you're going to do is to open gadget.dev. The link should also be in the description below. You can check it out. And once you're in this page, the next is to create and log in, to create an account and log in. So. Click the create app and that should redirect you to the sign up for gadget. If you already have an account, you can just go back and click log in instead, okay? And here we can create an account by using a Google account or a GitHub account or we can use our email. So I'll just use my email. And once you're logged in, it should give the following select an app type. So since we're creating a Shopify app, obviously we're going to select the Shopify app. So click that and then click next. And then here, choose an app domain. Obviously your app domain should be related to what kind of Shopify app you are trying to build. Honestly, it's okay if you want to be creative here. If it's your brand name, sure, use that. Let's do that. I'll use my brand name, so weekly how. And then for the template, we're going to use the base Shopify embedded app click get started and that should start building the Shopify gadget app. So it's going to create the database, the back end, the automated API generator, the front end and then the authorization system. Okay, so this is gonna take two minutes. So while we're waiting, why not subscribe to the channel? It's just down there, you can just click it. Pretty easy. You can also like this video since it's my birthday. Come on, just like it. Thank you. Okay, let's go back.
And once that's done, let's just click let's go. Now the next thing we're going to do is to connect to our Shopify app. So here, click the connect to Shopify. And then you have two options here. You either you connect this to a an app created through the partners dashboard, or you connect this app, this gadget app, to an app that is created through your online store. Now there are two or in fact three types of Shopify apps. There's public app, custom app, and draft app. Public apps, these are the apps that you see in the app store and these are made with partner's account. Whereas custom apps are created in the store admin, meaning this is only made for one online store. And lastly, draft apps are the apps that is meant only for testing purposes. But once you install this to a store, to an online store, this is going to be a custom app. We're going to use the partner's dashboard, the app that is created through the partner's dashboard, okay? So here we have the client credentials form. We need to pass here the client ID as well as the client secret. So we need an app. So let's go back to our partner's account and I've already prepared here a Shopify app where you can find your client ID and then your client secret. If you don't know how to create an app, you can go to your partner's account and open the apps page and you can create an app by clicking the create app button if you don't have a partner's account you can go to shopify.dev and then create an account okay but i'm not gonna bore you with all those things let's just go straight here and then open the weekly how gadget the app and then let's copy the client id and then go back here paste it here and the next is the client secret let me just zoom in so you guys can see what i'm working on and then here, I'll copy the client secret, copy, go back here, paste it here. Now the next is the URLs, okay? But we can do that later on. Let's just click continue. And the next one is the API scopes and data models. Okay, so what kind of Shopify app do you want to create? Do you want to create a Shopify app that customizes the front end, that changes the Shopify theme, that creates an extension? Then you're going to use an access to uh, an as then you're going to use an access scope, okay? But if you're creating, for example, products, if you're creating blog posts, if you're creating um, collections products, variants, etc., then you're going to just find here products, you're going to find blog posts or content, and so on. Okay, for example, let's use products. So here we have two checkboxes, read and write, meaning we can either just get the products and their attributes or we can allow our app to update these products or create new products. Now, if you select the read or read and write, you will get this section where you can create your models. This will allow you to synchronize the data of your online store and your database. So if you create a new product, it will add that product to your products model, which I think is pretty cool. So let's select the product. Let's use that. And now we can just click confirm. And then next is to copy the app URL and the redirection URL in the configuration. So let's do that. Here, let's click the copy button and then go back here in the app, in the app configuration. We're going to replace the app URL with the app URL that we just copied in the previous page, okay? Next is the redirection URL. Go back here. Copy the allowed redirection URL, go back to the partner's app page, and then paste it here. And that's pretty much it. Now we have successfully connected our gadget app and then our Shopify app. There you go. Now the next is to install the Shopify app to a development store. How can we do that? First of all, you need to create a developer's store, a development store. Okay, so if you don't have a development store, you can open the stores page here and then you can add a new store. But I already have a bunch of stores here, so I'll just so I'll just use one of this. Okay. So here I'll go back to the weekly how gadget, and then here in the test your app, we can click this button to install this app to a development store. And I'm going to select the weekly how live coding session. Click install app. And that should give me the following install page. Now notice here that in the view and edit store data, I have the access scope that allows me to edit products, products and collections, okay? So if I click install, that should obviously install my Shopify app. 
And there you go, we have successfully created our Shopify gadget app and we have successfully installed it to our development store. If you're interested to learn more about gadgets or how to create a Shopify app using gadgets, you can subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button below and like this video. If this video gets 50 likes, I will create a part two. We'll cover APIs, actions, creating routes, and maybe designing a Shopify app. Who knows? So yeah, subscribe to the channel and like this video to learn more. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you for... <laughs>